Hello dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our new video, please stay until the end. God's love for you is immeasurable, and immutable, that is to say unchangeable. The thoughts of them, God are above our thoughts. As the sky is above them, the earth and its ways are not our ways. God is love, and can never do harm. Everything that God allows, or provides in our lives, is only for our happiness. He always makes all things work together for us, well according to his purpose. God is your daddy, and loves you more than you can understand. May the Holy Spirit give you the knowledge and assurance of God's love in your heart. Please like, subscribe to the channel, and share so that other people can be reached. My darling, how did you like this evening? It was exceptional, I really liked it. We've been engaged for five years, but we've never spent such an evening together. This evening, I specially organized it for you, my darling, to rejoice and take advantage of the same opportunity to tell you some good news. Oh well darling, I'm really happy. Thank you for thinking of me. And what is this news? You know we've been together for five years. You supported me and helped me through all the difficulties. You supported me in every way. Today, by the grace of God, I have a good situation, everything is fine. I'm telling you that as expected in five months or more. We are going to celebrate our wedding. You will officially become my wife. I cannot believe. I didn't expect this today. Glory to God. Thank you darling for this good news. And finally, thank you Jesus. When you arrive at home, you need to talk with your mother so that we can start the preparations, because I can't wait to see you permanently, by my side. Next week, I'll give you $10,000 to start the preparations. I want a lavish party, and I want to see you look stunning. Okay honey, I get it. When I got home, I would tell my mom about it and together we would do whatever it took. I think we can go home now because it's getting late. We will have the coming days to hold meetings to put things in place. Okay honey, let's go. You sleep well and have dreams. Thank you darling. Same as you two. See you tomorrow. Mom, I'm very happy. I am filled. My heart is overflowing with joy. You cannot know the news that I am going to tell you. My daughter, I really see that you are joyful and radiant. Your eyes shine like sparks. Looking at you, I see how often your joy is so great. What is this news? Mom, I'm getting married. J. Ramey asked me to marry him and in six months at the latest we will celebrate our wedding. What excellent news. Glory to God. I am very happy my daughter. Come into my arms so I can hold you. He also told me to discuss the preparation with you. He promised to give me $10,000 next week to start the first races. Okay my sweet girl. I am at your disposal. We will do it by the grace of God. Already? Tomorrow. We will start what is necessary. Okay mom, I understand. Thank you for always being there for me. My daughter I love you. You are a treasure to me. Who's gonna do it? If I don't do it for you. It's a real pleasure for me. Are you going to eat? I made your meal just the way you like it. No. Mom. I will taste it tomorrow because my stomach is full. J. Ramey pampered me this evening. All I have to do is go to bed because I'm very tired. Okay have a good night. Kisses may the blood of Jesus protect you. Hello my princess. Hello darling. You slept well? Yes by the grace of God. Thanks. I also slept well by the grace of God thank you. Honey, let's pray. Lord, we say thank you for protecting us and delivering us from the hands of the enemy. Thank you for this new day. Take care of us. Holy Spirit, help us and lead us to do what honors the heart of God, glorifying his name. Teach us an advocate for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. My darling, I'm going out this morning. I was called for a job interview in Anugi company, and submitted my files. It's been more than six years. I pray to God to hire me so that we can get out of this life of precariousness. You know that since I finished my studies, it's been at least 10 years and I only do odd jobs, here and there. 
Without your help, my princess, I don't know how I will get through this. You are truly, a virtuous woman, a sublime help to me. I am proud of you, my beloved. Me and the kids are delighted to have you. God always gives wonderful things to his children. Darling, God is faithful and good. He will give us grace. Throughout this time, he has always supported us and never stopped providing for all our needs. He is ours all in all. Let us not worry because he is and will always remain faithful. I too, my beloved and brother, am proud of you, because you are an exceptional husband. If I have to do it again, I won't hesitate to marry you. You make me happy. I give all my gratitude to God. Thank you, darling. Okay, I'm going to go now, because I might be late. Okay. Darling, may the Holy Spirit accompany and assist you, may he touch their hearts, so that you may be accepted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, my darling. Hello, Mrs. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? My name is Mr. Kirk Matthew. I was called this morning at 10 a.m. by your company. Ah, yes, I see, sir. Effectively. Take place. One moment, please. I will announce you to the chairman and CEO. Thank you, madam. You are welcome. Yes, come in. Please, Mr. Chairman and Director, I have come to announce the arrival of Mr. Kirk Matthew. Oh, yes. Okay, thanks. Bring him in. I was waiting for him. Okay, sir. Message received. Yes, come in. Hello, Mr. Chairman and CEO. Hello, Mr. Kirk. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. I called you this morning regarding your employment file, which you submitted in our company. It's been almost six years. I studied the file, your diplomas, and I saw that it corresponded to the specialties that we were looking for. We really need your services and your skills. We will hire you as director of statistics of the company. Will you be available in two weeks to take up your position? Yes, sir. I am entirely at your disposal. There is no problem. You will start in two weeks with a monthly salary of $3,500 and a company car at your disposal for your travels. You will have a salary increase of $1,500 after six months of work. Do you agree? Yes, sir. I accept. If you don't mind, with that, I will ask my secretary to prepare the papers for you to sign in two weeks when you start. Okay, that's good. Thank you, sir. If there is nothing left, I think I'll leave. It's okay. You can leave. See you in two weeks. Goodbye, Mr. CEO, and thank you for everything. Goodbye, Mr. Kirk. It's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is shared. My darling, I'm back. Welcome, darling. How was the interview? My dear, everything went well. Let us give glory to God. He has remembered us. I'm hired, and I start in two weeks. Oh, honey, that's wonderful. God is good. May all the glory go to him, he who never abandons his children, all those who trust in him are never ashamed and confused. My darling, I'm overwhelmed I can't express my joy. You know, they're going to pay me $3,500 a month and give me a company car for my travels. After six months, I will have a $1,500 raise. Oh well, I can't believe it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Psalm 33 verse 4, For the word of the Lord is right, and all his works are faithful. Thank you Lord, for this grace that you have just given, again for us on this day. Thank you for your kindness in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Honey, I'll be able to take care of you the way I want. Thanks again for your support, my darling. Honey, I'm here for you. We are one flesh. When you hurt, I hurt too. When you were happy, I am happy. Everything is for the happiness of the family. I love you, sweetheart. I love you too, my dove. Honey, I missed you. It's been several days since we last saw each other or spoke on the phone. When I call you, you're always busy. You don't have time anymore. Yes, you're right. 
I've been so busy lately, and they don't have time for anything. Honey, I understand you, but you were so busy that you don't even have a few minutes left for me too. Even talking on the phone is tricky. When I call you, you're cold, distant and in a hurry to hang up. It's like I'm too much, and my phone calls were making you uncomfortable. Don't bother me, I told you, I don't have time anymore. You can understand that at least. What language would you like me to speak to you? Chinese or Japanese? Okay, okay. Excuse me. Got it. But what did you cherish? You are pale, distant. You have a problem at work. You're weird. I do not recognize you. Julie, enough. It's good. You're starting to annoy me. That's enough. Honey, what did I say wrong? I'm just asking you, what if something was wrong, and you get angry? Don't I have the right to worry about you? Did I do something to you? I don't understand your reactions. In the five years we've been together, you've never called me by my name. There is always a beginning for something. What this attitude towards me? What a way to talk to me. You know, Julie, you will excuse me, but I think our relationship can no longer continue. It would be better to end our relationship. I do not love you anymore. What? What are you saying? Tell me it's a joke. No, it's not a joke at all. I'm not having fun, it's serious. From today, it's over between you and me. No more marriage, forget me. No, no, no it's not, not possible. You can't do this to me. With all this time we spent together, five years. I shared with you the difficult times, the hunger, the thirst, the shame, the humiliation. You throw me away today like a rag, after the change in your situation. I thought I loved you but I was wrong. I found the woman of my life. My apologies, for all the time, that I lost you. Good luck to you. I have nothing to say. Thank you for everything. I think I'm going to leave. I'm taking you home. No thanks. I'll manage. Goodbye and God bless you. Mom? 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 I feel sick. I cannot stand it anymore. I don't want to live anymore. I want to die. It's over for me. What will my friends say? Family? Mom, help me. My heart is broken, torn. But my daughter, darling, what have you? You are sick. What is going on? Did you have a problem at the office? Mom, J. Ramey abandoned me. He betrayed me. We just broke up. He broke off our relationship. No more marriage. This is not true. Tell me this is a joke. That it's not true. Jeremy? I can't believe it. My daughter? Take courage. Don't let yourself get discouraged. It really hurts. I understand you. It's not easy at all, but know that everything God allows in our lives is only for our good. Mom? I wasted five years with him. I gave myself and sacrificed for him. And today he's going to tell me that he doesn't love me anymore. Right? Wedding preparation. Where am I going to put my head? What a shame for me. Better not to live anymore. My adorable baby. Don't say that, please. Better for you to lose five years than to lose your whole life. Be strong. I understand you. It'll be okay. God has abandoned me. For what? Mom? For what? God is in control of everything. He didn't abandon you. Trust him. I think I'm going to sleep. I'm not eating tonight. Please, my daughter, make an effort to eat something. You can't sleep on a hungry stomach. I beg you, my priceless treasure. No mother. Thanks. See you tomorrow. I go back to my room. My darling, I want to talk please. Darling? Is there a problem? You are pale and thoughtful. What is happening, my beloved? My dove, I know that everything God does is good, but I don't know whether to say it's good news or bad news. Someone just called me that the company will no longer hire me and that there is no point in me showing up on Monday. Honey, what are you saying? Ah, 
Well, I don't know what to say, my love. I'm overwhelmed, but let's thank God. Let us give him thanks. Let us praise him for everything, and not lose courage and confidence, for he is in control. Nothing can happen to us that is not permitted or expected. Darling, courage. I know that you are a valiant hero, courageous, persevering and unique. God is with you. I am also there, as are the children. You know, my prince of love, whatever, situations get tough, I know that God has a brilliant plan for you. This will happen, because God is faithful and almighty. Honey, I know. Thank you for your support. It's not easy, but I am going to keep faith. It's difficult, but God is my strength and support. I can do all things, through Christ who strengthens me. Let us pray and give to God, honor and glory. Lord, Eternal Almighty, our dear Father, I adore you with all my heart, I praise you, and thank you for this situation. May all the glory go to you. I don't understand anything, but I trust you. You are in control of everything, and you will make everything work together for your glory, and our happiness according to your design. You know the end of everything before its beginning, and we know that in the name of Jesus, we are more than victorious. Father, it's painful, but I'm not going to whisper against you, nor blame you or accuse you, because I know you are good, and you love us. You are love, and it is impossible for you to harm us. The Bible says, in Romans 5 verse 8, while I was still a sinner, you proved your love to me, and that Christ died for me. Father, the circumstances I'm going through don't mean that you don't love me, or you've abandoned me, or rejected me. I trust you, because I have the assurance of your love, in my heart. Regardless, adversities, unemployment, lack of money, I have value. I am honored, because my value, my honor, does not come from what you give me, money, work, material things, but from what I am in you. Your child, your heir, my identity in Christ. It is not, because I am going through difficulties, that I am cursed, I reject this thought, it is a lie from the devil. I am not cursed because Jesus took all my curses and in him I am blessed. The Bible says in Galatians 3 verse 13, Christ has redeemed me from the curse of the law, having become a curse for me. For it is written, Cursed is he who hangs on a tree. There is no longer any curse in my life and on my life. There is no longer any condemnation or accusation, because Jesus was accused and condemned in my place. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Romans 8 verse 1. From Corinthians 5 verse 21. I refuse and reject all these lies of the devil. Father, I trust you, because you are faithful, and do not lie. Holy Spirit strengthen us, and make us steadfast in the name of Jesus. Amen. My darling daughter, you really scared me. I thought it was over, and that I was going to lose you. Why did you do this? Why do you want to kill yourself? It's not yet over for you if J. Ramey has let you down. It doesn't matter, the time you wasted with him isn't the end of you. Your fall, does not determine your end, my darling. Do you know the plan God has made for you? Do you know why God allowed this? Abandon yourself to God and put all your trust in him. I give glory to God for having intervened to save you. Mom, I ask God for forgiveness, and you too. I have sinned against God in you. I was selfish, I won't do it again. Lord, I ask you for forgiveness, with all my heart. Thank you for showing me your love again by saving my life. Lord, forgive me for loving what you give me more than who you are. I gave my heart, to what you do to me, to who you are. From today, I will seek more of your privacy and your will. You will be the first in my heart. I will love you more than anything, I will seek to know you more, and to rejoice your heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone's knocking at the door. Who can come at this time? I don't have any appointments, as far as I know. Yes? Please come in. Hello sir. Hello sir. What can I do for you? Do I know you? No, sir, you don't know me. My name is Christian, and I come from our Father, the Eternal, Almighty God. Ah, well, please sit down. Can I offer you something? No, thank you, that's kind. Yes. Come on, straight to the point. My name is Christian Fittel. I have lived in England for 60 years. God, through me, 
has established companies all over the world, but the headquarters is based in England. Today, I am old, and I must retire. For more than 20 years, God has spoken to me about you, and told me that when I retired, it was you who chose him to replace me. That is to say, you are my successor. I arrived yesterday night, just to tell you, and to prepare the necessary papers for you to return to your post. I had to come for two years, but the Holy Spirit told me that it was not yet the time. But a week ago, he told me that the appointed time has arrived, to come and get you. What? Ah, well, you left England, especially, and only, for me alone. It's unimaginable. And how did you find me? You don't know me, we've never seen each other. Nothing is impossible for God. It was the Holy Spirit who brought me. Sir, I am moved and overwhelmed. I can't even find the words to speak. I give thanks to God, that all the glory goes to Him, for eternity. Let us truly give glory and honor to God. I'll give you a week to prepare. You have all the papers and money you need. I'm giving you $20,000 for you and your family. With that, I'll leave you, and we'll call each other. Thank you, sir and goodbye. May the Holy Spirit protect you. Darling, God is great and almighty. An extraordinary miracle has just happened, in your absence. My love, what happened? Tell me. I see you, so happy. The face truly radiant. Like, I told you, we're going to England in a week. I was hired there. All the paperwork is ready, and Christian gave me $20,000 for the preparations. I could not believe. It's like I'm in a dream. Darling, my dove, I have no words. It is not possible. I am amazed. God is alive, real. He goes beyond our thoughts and our expectations. Darling, such happiness. Glory to God. Aleluya. Aleluya. Father, words fail me. You acted beyond what I expected. You are loyal. Glory to you. Receive all our praise. You are the only one, God who elevates and honors. Your blessings are without sorrow, without bitterness. Thank you for this grace in Jesus' name. Amen. your day? I hope everything happened, by the grace of God. My darling, my day was impeccable, thanks to the Holy Spirit. When he leads you, everything is fine. I give him all the glory. And you? I give thanks to God. Everything went well. Thanks. Only that I miss you a lot. Um, darling, I missed you too. I wanted to leave work to come back and stay by your side. Ah, okay darling, you're serious. No, I was joking. I wanted to tease you. But know that I love you and that I really missed you too. My sweet princess. You know, my heart, my prince, I am the happiest woman on earth. God fulfilled me by giving me the most wonderful husband on earth. You are special and unique, because you are recreated in Jesus. As he is, so are you. I am proud of you. God always gives extraordinary things to his children. Yes, honey, it's true. God is wonderful, and he does everything for them. And well, I am fulfilled too, by your presence by my side. No woman is comparable to you. I am the most honored man on earth. God has given me grace. Honey? Today I praised God when you left for work. I understood that everything God allows in our lives, no matter the pain, is only for our good. I learned on TV this morning that the man for whom I was going to kill myself, because he betrayed me, is in prison for murder. He murdered his wife, because of wealth. God saved me from death, and my soul too. It's unbelievable. Truly, in every circumstance of our lives, we must praise God. His thoughts are not our thoughts, and His voices are not our voices. God is, so loving, that He cares for us at all times. All my life I will praise Him, 
Honor him, and glorify him. I will always adore him for it is them that he is, and not for it is them that he gives me, or can give me. We love you Lord. I and my generation will love and serve you, the only God, creator of heaven and earth, unchanging and loving God in the name of Jesus. Amen. My darling, how are you feeling? How are you? Honey, it's okay. I can't believe that in the past week, God has changed the story of our lives. He has changed our tears into joy, our shame into glory, all who hope in Him are never ashamed and confused. My dove, God is faithful. He is greater than everything we say and think about Him. When men say it is finished, that is where God begins. God is beyond everything we think and say. My soul blesses the Lord and forgets none of His benefits. Dear brothers and sisters, we must bless the Lord and praise Him whatever the situations we go through. We must put all our trust in God and wait on Him. May the Holy Spirit help us to maintain patience and persevere. Let us stand firm in the Word of God. Let us walk by faith, not by sight. Faith does not make calculations and does not reason. Let us seek to know God through meditation on the Word of God with the help of the Holy Spirit. Let us know that God is love and it is impossible for him to harm you. Be strengthened and encouraged. God bless you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video so that other people can be blessed. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.